and it's moving chat from Android. Chat history moved to iPhone. That's it, guys. Hello, guys. How you doing? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your WhatsApp from your Android to the new iPhone 17 Pro Max. I have a Samsung Galaxy A15 on my left. And on my right, I have the new iPhone 17 Pro Max. So the first thing I will tell you is to charge your Android 100%. The other thing I always check is to get the latest Android compatible with your device. One UI version 7. Android version 15. Now I know that I have the latest Android. The second thing, go to the Play Store, search for WhatsApp, and here, if you see open, that means that you have the latest version, guys. If you have update, you need to update your WhatsApp. So I'm just going to open it. To consider this transfer successful, I need to see all of these chats here on the new iPhone. So what else are we going to check? We're going to go and click the three dots, settings. You're going to go to chats, and I want you to do a chat backup. Including videos, this is going to take more storage on your backup. Also, what account, what Google account you're using, I'm using suamigoalex2 at gmail.com. And also, the end-to-end -end encrypted backup is going to be off. All right, so once I see all this stuff, I'm going to do a backup now. It's doing it pretty fast. So now I have a fresh backup. Also, I have this chat where I have a lot of stuff, guys. Images, audio, pictures, emojis, memojis, all kind of file types. We need to see all of this on the new iPhone to consider the transfer successful, right? So now that we finished with the Android, we're going to download an app called Move to iOS. This is the official app from Apple, all right? I already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open it. I agree. And it says, it's easy to switch from Android to iOS. I'm going to click continue. Agree. Automatically send low battery. So just to bypass this, I'm going to connect it to the computer. That should charge it. So now I have the continue button. I'm going to click continue. Use a cable to connect this device to your iOS device to get started. Let's set up the iPhone really quick. Okay. I'm going to press English, United States, continue, set up without a phone. I'm going to log into my Wi-Fi. Now let's see what's going on. Software update. So you need to do the software update, guys. You're going to select set up without another device. Okay. Data and privacy, continue, adult, face ID later, passcode, don't use, don't use. And this is the screen that we need, guys. It says transfer your apps and data. In this case, we're going to use from Android. So we need to connect both devices. I'm going to click continue and it says connect via code. I'm going to connect the Android to the iPhone using the cable. Hopefully it's not going to ask me to charge the battery. Okay. And I'm going to connect both devices and then I'm going to click continue. Enter one time code. And this is here, guys. I'm going to click from Android, continue. And this is the code that we need to put here. 875-421. The devices are connecting. Now it's asking me, what do I want to transfer? I'm going to transfer messages, contacts, call history, Google account, photo library, voice memos. I'm going to click apps. Cellular plan, I'm not going to transfer. Display settings, not. What's up? Here you go, guys. Look at this. What's up? And here it says, move chats to iOS. I'm going to click start. Now it's transferring, almost done. Next, I'm going to click continue. And it's transferring. Look at this. Transferring from Android. Estimating time to transfer. Looks like it's done. Hold on. Yeah. And look at this, guys. Transfer complete. You can see 21 messages, 95 contacts, call history, photo library, photo videos, Google account, apps, and WhatsApp. 44 items transfer. So I'm going to click done and that's it with the Android. I don't need the Android anymore. So I'm just going to unplug it and I'm going to click continue. So what Apple account I'm going to use? So I'm going to go 5. All right. Continue. And then the password. Let's see if that works. Yes. And of course, it's going to send a text to another device. In this case, it's this one. Allowed. And this is the code that I need to put here. 699-744. And it's loading my account agree all right so let's finish this continue set up cellular i'm gonna put later apple intelligence later camera control and i'm gonna click not now improve siri not now emergency continue and that's it i'm gonna click get started that's my iphone and it says add your android device apps from the app store add apps then it's going to start downloading the apps that i used to have on the android and then what happened with my whatsapp my whatsapp is right here i'm going to click on it download require okay i'm going to view it in app store 
I'm going to download it, turn off, and I'm going to download WhatsApp. Okay, so here is when you get a conflict of the other apps fighting to get the internet, right? So I'm going to just pause them because what I'm concerned is about this. So this one, you can click and hold, prioritize download. I'm going to put pause. I'm going to pause all of this because this is taking all the juice from my internet. If you have a huge backup, this is going to take a while, guys. Now it's running faster, you see, because I paused all of this. Look, it's going to finish soon. Now it's finished. Okay, so now you can open it. And it says, welcome to WhatsApp. Agree and continue. What was the phone number that you have on my other WhatsApp? So it doesn't matter if this SIM card is here on this other iPhone or it's on the Android. It doesn't matter. As long as you have access to it, you are good. Why? Because WhatsApp is going to send you a text. All right. So let me put the phone number here. 786-947-7210. And I'm going to get a, a text here. Look, make sure it's correct. Yes. And that's the code I need. 637-970. And now we're going to see the, look at this, move chats from Android. You see, it took a long time, but now we are seeing the continuation of our transfer. Move chats from Android. Start. Start. Allow full access. And it's moving chats from Android. Chat history moved to iPhone. That's it, guys. Next. Allow. I'm going to continue. I share all contacts. I'm going to put my name here, Alex. And I should see all my chats that I used to have on the Android, now I have it there. Look at this. And of course, this old one where I have a lot of stuff like images, pictures, audio files, emojis, memojis, all kind of file types. Everything got transferred, guys. Yeah, remember these guys? Everything got transferred. And that's it. And of course, what I will do now, as soon as you see that you have everything, you'll go to chats. And then you will do a chat backup. Why? Because this chat backup is going to be stored on iCloud. All right. The other one was stored on Google Drive. I include videos. I will do a daily backup and I will back it up right now. Couldn't complete backup, it says. This one, it's okay. Now it did it. So you have to click like two or three times in order to do it. So he's going to do the backup now. All right, guys. And that concludes. Let me see if my backup is, is finished. Hold on. I mean, it's going to be finished. It's 8%, you know, whatever. But that's it, guys. And then, of course, if you want your Android apps, just unpause them. They will install. That's how you move from your Android to your iPhone. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please don't forget to put it on the comments. I'll try to answer it. And this was how to move your WhatsApp chat history from an Android to the new iPhone 17 Pro Max. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.